Okay, so I'm just gonna tell, retell a story about my interaction with Jay. Now, I didn't, I don't know Jay personally. I was flabbergasted that he accepted my friend request on Facebook. So, I guess I'm friends with him, but I wasn't really friends with him. I didn't really know him. I only talked to the dude twice, and it was kind of funny <laughs> the first time, I guess. So, it was the first time I talked to him was, this was in person, by the way. I never, actually, I didn't talk to him online either. I wrote on his status, his last status ever. So, I guess that makes me qualified. He never responded back to me, though. It's okay. Okay, so anyway. It was October 2nd, 2009, at Harpers Ferry in Alston, Massachusetts, and it was about 9.30, I don't know, maybe it was 9, it was before the show actually started, so the Useless Eaters, of which Jay was a member on base, they hadn't actually gone on stage yet, this was before the show, people were, no one was really there actually, in fact, if I had to estimate, I'd say about 15 people or like sitting around the bar area or just standing around if you're not of age like I wasn't of age so I was with a small group of people and then I saw Jay walk by I was like that's Jay no way I mean I wasn't really like I actually admittedly I kind of was like holy crap that's Jay like I was kind of freaking out like wow even though it's just a dude. So, I mean, I know the criticisms of, like, freaking out over people in bands and stuff that you really admire. So I didn't really want to freak out, but I kind of did. Short story, I want to, like, tell back. Like, little side note. It was in July, so about three months before this, this encounter with Jay. I was standing around too, like before the show, and I saw a guy in a red jumpsuit. I was like, holy crap, that's Jay. So I was gonna, I was like, should I do it? So I was gonna go up to him, but then my friend said that it was Stephen Pope. No, he didn't say it was Stephen Pope. He was just like, yeah, I don't think that's him. So chances are it ended up being Stephen Pope, big fat guy. Sorry if you're listening, Stephen, but it's true. So anyway, when I saw him, when they, when Jay Retard got on stage, and I noticed that that fat guy wasn't Jay Retard, I was like, all right, good thing I didn't go up to him. Flash forward to what I was saying. So Jay just walked by. I knew it wasn't Stephen Pope. Like I knew this was definitely Jay Retard. So he walked by this way, or this way, whatever way you want to talk about it. So I was like facing towards him, just like this. So he zoomed by, kind of fast walking. Jay was a fast walker. He had something to do, I don't know, sell merch or something, like chill out with the guys that were selling merch. This was back when his, when Pope and Hayes were still in the band, shortly after they quit the band. Because they're rich, or whatever. I forget the reason. It doesn't matter. Okay. So anyway, Jay walked by. I said, "Hey Jay, I love you, man." Oh man, I shouldn't have said that. I got a little carried away. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, "Holy crap!" I said, "Hey Jay, I love you, man." So Jay keeps on walking, <laughs> and then he was like, "He like he didn't do that. I don't know what he did, but he did a little smile thing, like." Like, you're a freak. But then he was like, whatever. I think something like that. Because that was kind of like a weird thing to say. Like, you don't go up to people and just say, you love you, man. Like, I love you, man. Not cool. I mean, I've done, I'm guilty of it. I've done it to, like, many people. Most musicians that I meet, I say it. So now I know. Probably not going to go with that anymore. Next. Okay. So, I was, like, pissed. I was like, fuck, Jay hates me. Jay hates me now. He thinks I'm a creep. Like, I was kind of thinking this at the time. And, like, I was, like, talking to everyone. I was like, I just said hi to Jay. And that I loved him. But then, he, like, kept walking. 
like I kind kind of wanted him to stop. Like I'm not gonna lie, it hurt my feelings. I was like, shit, this kid, this guy's an asshole. He didn't even, but then I realized what I said was a little bit inappropriate. So I can see like him, like run walking to the back. So then I was like, alright, yeah, I understand totally. I understand totally. Let me redeem myself. So this was again before the show started. He was up towards the stage, like filling out a set list for useless eaters, I think, or something. He was just like filling a set list out. So I was like, alright, I'm gonna redeem myself. So I went up to Jay and I said, Hey Jay, I loved the last album. So I was like, oh shit, what's Jay gonna do? And then he said, hey, thanks, dude. And then he just went back to what he was doing. So like, I was like, all right, he's kind of a dick, but he's cool. Like, thank you for saying thanks. Like, I don't know, I guess, I, so I'm not gonna say he was a dick, but like, I was kind of random. So I guess that's just how he was. Like, I wanted to be his friend, or I wanted to like talk to him. But, and by the way, this isn't, this is nothing like that, this is no, this is not a hunks kind of deal, like, I don't, I don't like Jay like that, just clearing it up like that, not at all, this is no homo kind of deal, just wanted to talk to the guy, so, I kind of concluded that he's not an asshole, and then when I, when I heard that he died, I was pretty pissed. Obviously, just because, like, his last two shows were amazing. In my perspective, I haven't seen many shows, so I can't really tell. But in terms of the overall experience, <laughs> he's just a funny guy, and I greatly admire, like, all of his... What he said in the, um, Waiting for Something documentary. Good stuff. I admire his lookout, sort of. Like, I disagree with him on probably a lot of things, but I disagreed, past tense. But, at the same time, very admirable man. So, I don't really feel like I'm qualified to tell this story. If anyone actually is tuning into this, I don't feel like I'm qual- Like, and you actually know Jay personally, or you, like, knew him more than I knew him. Sorry for like a stupid story, I guess, but that's all I had, and I've been listening to him pretty much non-stop, so I figured I'd just make this video. Alright, thanks.